the GoPro 360 or GoPro Max. So when you first dump it in, it looks like that. It's a 90 degree flat video. Change the mapping to a tiny planet. You then have a field of view, 45 through to 720. You can basically manipulate the video in any way that you want. You press the tilt, you can use your mouse cursor to do it. Pan, mouse cursor, roll, and field of view. Zoom in, zoom out. GoPro 360, GoPro Max. I'm going to show you how to film and edit and basically make yourself your own director on any video that you make from now on. Let's see how this thing works. So basically with the GoPro 360 you can capture 360 as the name suggests. But there's a few little difficulties, or well not difficulties, there's a few little technical things that you need to understand first about using your GoPro 360 and getting the most out of it but you can basically make yourself a director of any of your own videos you can be wherever you want doing whatever you want and not have to move the camera the camera can be fixed in position but it looks as though someone is following you around with your own camera so you can have the GoPro 360 filming in a static position or you can have it moving to look at the front of your boat, for example. Or you can have it move and look at the back of your boat, for example. Or you can have it move and turn around and look back at you. You can even zoom out and make it look like you're on a tiny planet. But I'll show you the little things that you need to understand first about filming with the 360. So a few little things with filming with the 360 is that it records in 360 but it records with two lenses so in the GoPro app on your phone you have to stitch together that data first to be able to use it so you can't just take the SD card out of your camera and use it that way you have to actually stitch it together in the app so I'll turn on the GoPro Max put a button on the side here it be in your phone Open up the GoPro app. Go to your cameras. In the camera section on your phone, in the app, go to view media. Media is loading. It will take a while. So what I like to do when I'm recording in the boat and recording for fishing is turn the GoPro Max on, start of the day, then don't miss anything. So how it records, it records all the time continuous. You can't do it in a loop like you can on a standard GoPro. So set up and recording the whole time but the one advantage is that it records in eight minute blocks so by recording in those eight minute blocks i leave it running on a standard 128 gig card it records for just over four hours which is plenty for a standard fishing session um, when i catch a fish i just turn it off and start it again so when you're looking through all of your video files on your phone the ones that are shorter is where you caught the fish so on your phone, back to the phone, jump onto the data that you have, and you see a preview like this. And the preview on here is the same where you can pan on here looking at whatever you want, every angle, as you do on a 3D 360 video. Now what you want to do in here is grab the section of this video that you want so if it's a fish capture for me which is what is most of the time or something funny happening in the boat whatever you use the little scissor function down the bottom press that little scissor function start the video where you want to start it press the scissor and then you pan across to the end of that section that you want it's in the bottom start stop okay i just want that piece of that video so now I can save that, save as new clip. Now what this is doing is stitching those two camera parts together. So now, in the app, you go back to, back to the media section and right there is the little three second clip that I just took today. 
So then the easiest way that I've found to do it is now I just save that to my phone. Up the top here, little blue dot, press that little blue dot, save to photos. If you want to grab the whole video file, much simpler, you don't have to snip it, but it is a big file. These are recorded in 5.6K and I can't remember the exact file size, but an eight minute file is fairly large. So it's best to pick the section that you want by using that cropping function and then saving it as a separate file. But if you want to grab the whole thing, it's very simple. You just click on it and just do download to the app. So by downloading to the app, it is then, as you can see, is saving the media but by saving the media, what it is actually doing is stitching the two files from the two cameras together. So you can't use, not that I'm aware of, the, the GoPro Max without using the app and stitching the file together for you to download. So while I'm turning my computer on so that I can get this data to my computer to then Final Cut Pro to edit, why don't you check out this clip that is purely filmed on the 360 Max and understand exactly why. It's very different though. Hmm. Shit's a lot locked, a lot sort of different in the water like that yeah. rat. Oh there you go. You're not a big one. No. You might be 80 though. Shit yeah. Oh Yeah, probably maybe 85. Nice one, boss. Nice little explosion, eh? <laughs> Such a beautiful animal. Yeah. You can probably tell change of scenery and change of clothes. So, a few things when I was editing this video that I worked out that I missed out on was how to get your data from your phone to your computer and the software that I'm using. You have to excuse that green screen in the background, but hang on, I'll fix that up now. So I'm running Apple iPhone obviously, and I edit on Apple Mac. It's so much easier than when I used a PC. So much faster and easier to use. So all I do in my phone, select the files, just press select at the top, select three files, Press the airdrop button, choose my MacBook, and airdrop them straight to the MacBook. Done. Simple. So now they're in my computer. Open up Final Cut Pro. So let's go into a new library. Let's just call it GoPro. So now what we want to do is import media that's in the 360. 360 video. Let's import that new project. So in the project, this is very important. You need to choose in here what you want it to be set at. Otherwise, if you let it do automatic, when you drop a 360 video in, it won't give you some options. So we'll just call it GoPro. So now there's our 360 file. Just drag and drop it into the timeline. So with a standard GoPro, this is what this footage would look like. So he's cast his top water lure over to here. We're floating down the river. Boom. He's on and GoPro missed the whole lot. Now I'll show you what that can look like with the 360. So I've dropped my 360, these are my 360 files. I've just dragged and dropped them straight into the timeline of a standard project video. So this is what it will look like when you drop it into your timeline. You want to go to the mapping, change it to tiny planet. Now it looks like a tiny planet. The field of view, I typically start at about 120 and see what it looks like. Click your little orientation tab. So the most important tools when you're editing with 360 is your orientation and your keyframes. 
So learn how to use them, don't be scared of them, understand how to set them, what they do. So this is the easiest way to manipulate how the screen looks. So you click that and you can drag the screen to what you want to look at. So for this particular video, I want to have cal casting, but at 120 we're a little bit tight. So we'll go to 140. Takes us a little bit wider. You can see the mess we had in the Murray in the boat. We have it from here. So now what I want to do, these little markers on the side here, they're to lock what I have just set, these settings. So at this point in the film, those settings will carry true. Then you push play. So he's just cast. So now, let's move to where Cal just cast. So he cast over here near this snag. So I'll put it center. Let's go closer. on 90. Now it has set another key point and saved those marks at this position. So let's push play. So it's starting to drift off the snag the tiniest bit. So let's just square it up. Again, whatever you changed will highlight to yellow. Push play again. Now we get the take. Now what we can do is I'll lock these markers in so it doesn't move from here. Then what I'd like to do keep it in the center. We'll follow that fish. So where you want to bring it back into the frame, just pause it. These things that you've changed, they highlight, which tells you that it's locked in another keyframe. Now you can press done. So this is what this video will now look like. Let's watch this. We get cow casting. We get wary cast here. And we get the take. We're tracking that fish the whole way back now. What you can also do now though, is we can reuse the same bit of footage and we can Just zoom up to where he hooks up. That's where he hooks up. So we'll cut this. <coughs> Set some markers. Got a tiny planet. Put on one forty. Change your orientation. And now, with all these locked in, let's watch what happens with Cal when he hooks up. That is the advantage of running 360, to capture all that, all at the same time, with little or minimum effort while you're fishing. Don't be scared of the GoPro Max. Don't be scared to use it. Don't be scared of the extra effort that it takes to stitch the files together and then the editing because it is so worth it. The things that you will capture, even if you don't share them for anyone else on YouTube or whatever. If like me, you want to leave this thing plugged in and running in the boat, 
you can buy an aftermarket Ulanzi door. Keeps your memory card and battery safe and dry and then you still have the charging port on there as well. There are so many different ways that you can use the 360 video from well, even the different angles. You can use it from any position in the boat. You want to watch the angler's face, you want to watch the lure, you want to watch the fish. It doesn't really matter. You can follow it around in 360 as it says. You can change it to that tiny planet just to give you give you videos like a little bit of a different effect, you know, a bit like when people run a bit of drone footage, it just adds that little bit of cinematic type stuff, whatever. That has has limited uses but looks pretty cool. If you run that four hours and you're looking at only getting one or two bites and you didn't get anything in that four hours, if you run the 128 card, just grab the camera, format the SD and just clear the whole light and start again. That's what I've been doing when we make it a bite. The other side of it is just quickly grab with your phone, just grab the two or three files that you want out of what's already recorded, save them to the cloud, then they're saved, doesn't matter what happens to the GoPro, format the SD card and then just start again. I hope that was easy enough to understand for editing the 360 video. If you have any questions about it, just chuck them in the comments below. I can always do another video like this again. Um, but I really think running the GoPro 360 and GoPro Max is the way of the future for all of our fishing videos. You know, if keep them running, you forget, you forget they're even on and you're not going to miss anything. You don't have to worry about which, where it's pointing, what it's doing. It's recording the whole time and recording everything the whole time, basically. So there's going to be some super cool videos and some crazy content that there shouldn't be any of those stories, you know, where, oh, I missed this fish or we didn't have this on or whatever. There should be no excuses. Run the GoPro Max, run that 360, you'll capture everything and you won't regret it. Learn how to use it. Don't be scared of it. A little bit more expensive than, a, than an 8, but I think it's worth it. Hello well guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you want to find out what I'm up to on a day-to-day -day basis, just jump on any one of my other social media pages. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm constantly putting up a couple of videos a week now to keep you guys entertained. Otherwise, this has been Dean Sylvester, Fishing My Way.